Hello and welcome back to another episode of War Tales. My name is Aiken and today we're continuing our journey in hopefully no longer the Tilton County but the next county. We have gone above and beyond to explore most of this map and it was fun. Uh, there is certainly uh, room to explore some more of the edges, but for now I would say it is time to do a border crossing. Next observation that I've had, by the way, is that uh, with the size in our party, the fights seem to become easier and easier just due to the action economy. And I've made the decision that this is going to be the party of our companions. We're not going to increase anything um, above seven um, for this playthrough. And if uh, the War Tales playthrough is a great success, I would even go and uh, do a four man challenge run like the base party or a different party, something along those um, lines. So happy to look into that if the game is perceived well. Anyways, let's uh, join into today's playthrough. We got a couple of options here. We're not wanted whatsoever. So we do have room for some stealing, uh, steely, steely stuff. I may not look wealthy, but if you pay for my passage, you my cousin runs a tavern in the city of Gossenberg. If you can lend me the money, I promise he will pay you back threefold. All right. I'm not lying. I don't have enough money to cross the border. I don't know where to go from here. Yeah, well, I don't have enough money to cross the border. I wish you could join us, but I just mentioned that we are a little bit uh, more on the full side we're not a charity you know you need an official pass to enter gossenberg unless you are willing to pay up to you. everything is in order welcome to welcome to gossenberg i like to hear that I was trying to click on to the merchant, but apparently that is not possible. Okay, guys, welcome to Gossenberg. Here we go. Kingdom of Gossenberg. We had quite a bit of money left over because we were successful with all of our jobs the last time. Might I interest you in my humble wares, my good sirs? Yep. Now we're seeing level 5 armor come um, come up, uh, which is in line with uh, our other armor that uh, we're currently having. And I think it is a good idea to uh, rest here. Let's first and foremost see, can we... Uh, create something. We have enough uh, ropes. We have sturdy fish hooks. Could craft one torch for good measure. Because Ender Sanders typically uses them up uh, quite frequently. We have uh, no one who is uh, who needs who needs to be observed. And I absolutely love that we're getting more and more recipes going. Average danger levels, that is fine. A little bit of alcohol. And let's have a rest. Marauder captain and around eight enemies. That is going to be a great fight. Well, the moment that we step um, our uh, step into uh, the Veltrus uh, province, we are immediately getting ambushed. Dilly moves to here, 
Then Namri plus Miss Grell are the front line. Our archers are standing a little bit further back. Like the idea of dealing damage with the spear there. All right, let's start with that. Dilly hits uh, all of uh, them with a bit of burning damage. This patch here will remain and linger. Dilly moves over. And this Hodlum is slow down plus is burning Dilly continues to stand behind and we're finishing our turn Namri is taking a beating lots of archers there could go in, but I don't want that yet. Instead, we're softening up a couple more. One. Kill. And this will give us one Valor back. All right, Enders would be used a bit later. Polly moves up, gives everybody a damage buff, and then teaches this guy a nice little lesson. I like it. Can't unfortunately get any closer, so we're missing out on uh, the one point Valor. <laughs> These guys are hitting themselves. Fantastic. I love it. All right, move up. And the good old finalization. This guy is being terminated. By the way, I forgot to mention it. I learned a couple of off skills for overall 900. JP Pauly has a sprint. I gave uh, Dilly, uh, Dilly G, I think, first aid or Enders. Enders uh, got Wrath for some more damage in melee. And someone got first aid. Oh yeah, here, uh, Jim Hewlett got first aid. These were the three that I learned just to deepen our, our pool of resources. Okay, we still have three units to go. I would think, yeah, we can't get all of them into orderly, unfortunately. Alice around to uh, generate twice as much uh, valor. I don't think that that is needed. Um, I could start the engagement. Uh, you know what? Let's let's go about it. We gain protection. 21 hit points is a decent amount of damage. 
There we go. Anders moves up. Gets free valor. Moves to here. It's both of the archers. Continues to hit them. Continues to hit them further and unfortunately we don't have wrath yet. But we can go in and finish them the next time. Move up. Did I really just move too far away to not hit him? Oh my. Well, still getting used to the system, I suppose. All right, the archers uh, would act first. We can't just let that happen. Moving in. Hitting twice. This time Wrath comes up. That's a solid kill. That's another kill. This is a double poison. And Enders moves back. Fantastic start. I like it. Next up, JP moves into the fray. Hit and finish. Fury for some extra goodies. Moves to here and ends the turn. Next, we got this archer. Namri would be poisoned, but the archer would be very much uh, taken care of. Unfortunately, we can't first aid ourselves. That's a bit of a shortcoming of that skill. Archer just hits for one and takes some damage himself. Good, next up, this Marauder guy. to here and then take two shots. I think that wouldn't be the worst. One hit. A pretty solid uh, knockdown. End of turn gets one Valor. We only have one hit here. We could spread out though that he can only hit one with his <clears throat> with his axe. It's very unlikely that we're dealing 70, uh, 47 points of damage. All 
that deals even more damage. We're moving up, and that will generate more valor. <clears throat> Good, this guy is going to act next. In which case, we are moving up, engaging and weakening him that way he deals less damage and that's end of turn yeah one point of damage and he takes five from burning unfortunately we're burning as well one oops that was a wasted valor point but we're immediately getting it back. Fantastic. Namri is taking some damage, but it's still okay. Polly moves up. Wow. Man handles the archer. We're getting galvanization, which is great. Move up. Big fat hit. And that's already the combat. Our first ambush went well. JP Poorly became a Tormentor. What does that mean? Tormentor. Uh, critical hit and critical damage increased by 5%. I like it. By the way, I got us uh, these sharpening oils. Uh, they are making the weapon even a little bit better. And we got a level 4 Outlaw Tabard, which is good. Alright, so far that worked out well. I think Deli G has something to say. Finally, we finally defeated a mighty opponent. I've been dreaming of slaying more uh, than boars and bandits for long. Finally, I've won a battle w with a worthy four. Valiant, if the group starts the battle with less than two Valor points, it grants up to two. That's a fantas fantastic trait. Abitude would be good as well. Or happiness. No, 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 no. We're going for Valiant because that will go a long, long way. And by the way, Dilly G has, seems to be very liked um, with, uh, with most. He even befriended Murphy the horse. All right. We're still on our way, by the way, to... Uh, understand the treasure of the ancients three out of seven and then there is codex management but this here is yet unclear to me we'll figure it out i would assume let's see there's a question mark over here i love question marks Vertrusian Windmill. Okay, as always, let's inspect what's available. I uh, don't need wheat. That's hemp is for free. What else do you have? Comfrey is cool. Coal is cool. How much would that raise suspicion? Not worth it. I'm waiting for something a bit more valuable. Yes, I was sold as part of the mill. It was a real selling point for the new owners. Oh, wow. 
bought this mill with the goal I earned during my time as a gladiator. Oh, gladiator, I like it. I miss the atmosphere of the arena, but I don't miss the risk of losing a limb at the slightest. I can teach you a few of my dagger techniques, but first, you'll need to prove your skills in smotsery. Okay, so this guy might be able to teach us a few tricks. I like that. We're keeping it uh, on the mind. And believe me, I am absolutely down for a bit of an arena fight. What is uh, this? A group of apparently vandals? We're looking for a woman named Sanka Bell. She owes our client. I hope for her sake she has enough to pay up. She's in so deep she'll be sold off as a slave. Uh, raw materials for 40 uh, influence. You saw her in Tiltron? Why, that's not what we were told. Thank the eye we bumped it. Very good. Well, easy enough. Um, extra knowledge points. I'm saving those knowledge points because I hope that we get the new sets of armor. Uh, and unfortunately, this here is a little bit uh, more on the heavy side. So, what can we do in order to lighten our load? Um, did we have anything that increases carrying capacity? No, I think we already learned all of that. I think we already learned all of it. Um, how about... By weight. Uh, these are unfortunately a little bit heavy, but they are equally good. Let's get rid of some sandstone. I hate to do it, but... We definitely need a better weight management. There is still the option to use our banner in order to get uh, even more carrying capacity, but... I don't want to do that. Let's do some wood cutting and talk to the guys here. Oh wow, I missed the first one. That was embarrassing. Yeah, and the next task that we definitely have is to get more carrying weight because we can't adventure with uh, that little carry weight. Ah, are you missing me? You should focus on the disease affecting the vines instead, mercenary. Okay, well, thanks for the tip. Move along, mercenaries. Our sawmill. Yes, these machines aren't working. That's none of your business. I wonder if they place something like behind the barn from time to time and with uh, you turning with you turning your perspective gosh this is embarrassing i will need to find 
some merchant to get rid of um, at least the axe and, and a bit of the loot. Too greedy to uh, to uh, not just destroy it. Find out who the um, sawmill workers really are. Yeah, I got the impression that you guys are not quite honest. So move along, mercenaries. As it's clearly not due to just talking to them. Yes, these machines are. Last time there was something in the cellar. Ah, are you mercenaries? This time I wonder if we find something else. these little side quests where you are getting teased but then it's not clear who these mercenaries really are okay we'll find that out later I need a merchant and above all I need to get to the next city. Before we do that though, let's rest one more time. that and a bit of wolf meat and a bit of that or rather that okay cool we have gained even more um, influence thanks to being super happy one thing that I learned is just keep your happiness at uh, 15 and continue to do so. Good, we're sticking to the main road for now. I just want to get to a settlement. Can't be that difficult to find. This looks like a beehive. No, mushrooms. Okay. Um. Oh, finally, a town. Great. Let's explore what we do have available, shall we? So, for, fir uh, for starters... Just know this year will be a breeze. This way, this is even temporarily reduced, so it motivates me to buy it. But before we buy anything, we are going to sell. Eels are heavy as food, so they need to go. What else needs to go? Two of them. Um, the trinkets might need to go. I don't. I still haven't found out what to do with the trinkets. Can always come back and buy it from him. Playing cards.
As long as it is not a component, I think we're fine. Okay, miscellaneous, that's good. Let me do all of uh, the uh, shopping here and I'll give you a rundown and summary of what we accomplished. Okay, we are back. So let me give you a rundown. We just bought a couple of recipes. I finally made my first apple pancake and a nice little eel soup. Also, we got ourselves a new offhand for Andors, who is now rocking a bee bomblet. Um, because finally we got our hands on honey. These things here uh, are dealing two to four damage to all units in the area and create a bee swarm. Uh, that goes nicely together with a poison bomb, I would be assuming. On top of it, we have gotten a couple of uh, jobs, um, some simple head hunting, but also some story progression. So without further ado, uh, let's jump into it. My one concern is we haven't really found an upgrade for our armor. So these sets, the iron weapons are fine and that's pretty much about it. I ventured back all the way to Tiltran because you can, once you finish a storyline apparently by a knowledge, in this case we have Tilton uh, Restoration, an order which allows us to more easy repair. Other than that, I'm saving up the knowledge points for actually really good uh, recipes uh, there. Haven't found anything here really, other than being able to learn... Wait, 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 wait. Nah, I don't think that this will, I don't think that this will do anything other than we could build maybe a second strategy table. I don't know, we already have all of that in our camp and it feels like the camp is already quite heavy. We're still struggling with the carrying weight. <clears throat> I don't want to make that even worse. So we do have something over here. Might I interest you in my humble Molen Vineyard? Okay, let's take a good look. That's easy enough for Broker Ald Marheim to say we should be patient. He's not the one who's about to lose. I it. won't stand idly by while my crops wither away. Those responsible must be punished. By the all-seeing eye, we will fight back. Grab your pitchforks. To the Abbey, we'll... First off, we need to deal with the Brotherhood. These blasted mercenaries guard the Abbey day and night. All right. We could hire our own goons to dispatch them. If we all... And this is how a conspiracy starts. They do have nice biscuits, but we're already wanted enough, so not going to push it. Good. Great. We shouldn't dally. Let's go. Oh, and I forgot something. We got Joven here. The uh, he's a civilian. He will not fight with us. He's the apothecary uh, of uh, the respective of that town here. What was it name? Marheim. And he wanted us to venture to this location. So the moment that we are finding that, we'll be on our merry way. Great. Time to take a rest here. Can't really cook much more.
Uh, that looks good. And let's just get rid of the meat. Cool, we're getting plenty of influence, which I don't mind because we use a lot of the influence to buy all of the rumors. Which is how I've gotten all of these here, the storyline missions. Oh, and the apothecary uh, mentioned if we're finding more of these, the strange uh, tubber, we are more than welcome to hand it over to uh, to them. This here, by the way, looks a little bit like the picture. I think we need to go over the bridge and that's where the meeting spot is at. Juggler's camp. Let's start with a couple of chores first. We want to level those skills. Wood chopping in particular. We need that experience whenever we can. this animal open its cage unnoticed in the dead of night all right they are missing an animal if we don't find the damn wolf we'll miss the arena clash Ooh, arena clashes with the wolf i like that i tame wild it took me years to perfect this wolf skills i taught him everything to sit up and bed. if you ever come across my partner bring him back to me you can't miss him he's all right i like it Great little story arc. Oh wait, 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 there is a yet another town. We can't not go there. Master Remikin's Forge. Be careful. If you go into the hills south of here, I heard farmers mention Play Drag. Well, I tell you what, I'm still... A bit miffed that we are not able to produce anything else. We could go with that iron greatsword and just take the uh, the first uh, time forge bonus to level our uh, our blacksmithing. Problem is we're already quite overloaded, so might as well do that. Same here with the Iron Axe. Two-handed Iron M Hammer. I mean, it will cost us most of our stuff. I think we're better off maybe with the dagger and a couple of throwing items. Yeah, it gives almost the same experience. That costs us most of our materials, but we could get them back. I noticed that the far uh, that the mines are respawning. 
And at least he now does have an inventory of items. We got some money back, so that's fine. We're also a little bit lighter overall. This here would be helpful because there is more, uh, there is more carrying capacity somewhere here. Good. Well, unfortunately, we can't learn anything there. Might she be looking for work? I like a good old red infestation. Might as well take that. I think we're done with all of the jobs that we can take for now, right? Might she be looking for work? Yeah, wait, no, wait, we're not. All right, uh, we don't need new recruits. The other day, a woman with an Edoranian accent. If I join you, I'll no longer be... No, we, we're full. We don't need additional recruits. This inn is mostly a rest stop for travelers on their way to Marheim. Most people only stop. But I'm more than willing to learn a few new recipes because those typically uh, more nice just to get uh, get rid of all of the stuff that you're uh, that you're gathering so I think this here is the meeting spot don't move apostate. wait who are you well Level five. Oh boy, these guys are tough. Good. Well, that might be the big Royal Rumble that we've been looking for. Immovable. Cannot be knocked back. Okay. We are fighting at lower numbers so far. These guys do have mud slings. Deals damage to all units in the area. And they are level 5. Alright, so at least we can't uh, say they uh, went e easy on us. Quite the opposite. Let's just slow these guys down, the Zealot. And where's Ender Senders? Over there. Alright. Careful with uh, the ones that have uh, caught fire, because they will inflict burning for, uh, for us as well. Extra damage for everyone. And let's push this guy back. Love it. We're hiding. And we'll get a couple of extra Valor points.
Let's focus down the sentries. Almost hit my own guy there. All right, he slowed down and pushed back. And let's hope these archers don't have too much uh, reach. That would be unfortunate. All right, these guys are already engaging. Um, I tell you what, a couple of things actually. Number one, you get orderly. Number two, everybody gets encouragement for some extra protection. And all we are doing is move up and uh, deflect. We don't need that one little bit of extra damage moves up hits both of them Jumps back, unfortunately poisons himself uh, by doing that. Couple of bees. And whilst we're at it, bit of poison. Goes well together with the bees. Minimum damage, unfortunately, burning is now spreading. All right, Miss Grell moves up. And I really want to hammer home to this guy that uh, they need to die. We need to focus. The sentry has already taken a lot of damage. Fortunately, level 5 characters tend to be quite sturdy. Nice. Now he's bleeding. Just what the doctor ordered. These here are nicely clumped up. Unfortunately, we are clumped up as well. Archer and Archer go first. <sighs> I'll move over here. We would get an extra valor point if we're standing closer to a uh, to a friend, but I just don't want to get hit. Shooting him, and whilst we're at it, shooting him again, slowing him down. Good. Let's see what the archers are doing. Okay, that's fine. Could have been much worse. Three bonus valor, six because we were affected uh, by that uh, shout. Move up. 
Wolf's up. It's both of them nicely, including that uh, sweet, sweet backstabbing sound. More poison. To really hit that message home. And more bees. Fantastic. <laughs> he took 41 points of damage. All right, protection for us. Um, and we're fighting defensive. That's all we do. These guys are taking so much damage just from the burning and the poison. Okay, he just solidly got uh, got handled. Um, moving up over here, not too close, but enough to get these uh, two next turn. Over here, it seems like we're fine. On this front, we still need support. Move to the back. Oh yeah. Creating a front line here. There we go. Fantastic. Well. I mentioned we want to engage with you guys. Oh, and we will. That's a solid hit. And right there. Getting them nicely down. It's fantastic. He's in position. He takes 44 points of damage just... Just from being in position, really. Moves up. Hits this guy a little bit to the back. And we're standing here. Gives us some extra valor to work with. Now the front line has finally engaged. Our second tank is there. Fortunately, it has fr uh, fr fragility. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. We're going to do some repost like that. And we're just standing here for now. <laughs> Dilly G. It's a couple of fiery shots. That's good. Moves over. I think we're good. Uh, 
Um, hmm. Who's next? Ah, oh, these guys don't count. We're not ending right next to someone. Ah, that was not good. Shooting this guy back. He just killed himself. Moves up. Moves up even further. <clears throat> it's both of them. It's uh, these guys and... Finishes. Moves a tiny bit back and we're good. Alright, 44 points of damage. This side here is royally effed. Pushing the Zeal up back. And we're healing Andrew Sanders just for good measure. Get a Valor Point back. That's a hit. That's a big fat weakening. We're good. New round is starting. That's a kill. And I think we're just ending the turn here. Moving over, hits this guy with poison, moves over here, yeah, and ends the turn. Some more fire damage, but that's pretty much about it. We're out of Valor points. But I know how, I know how we can get some back. There's uh, one already.
Good, and turn. Gotta be careful here with Jim. Moving up. Healing him. And move far enough away to not uh, give him fire. These guys are ultra tough. Alright, new round is starting. Who is acting first? This guy. Okay, cool. Move him back um, and position here to get some valor. What is his problem? Guard is doubled. Okay, he just has an ungodly amount of guard. Which means he is taking almost no damage. Does he have repost? Not sure, but it seems uh, that he's always reposting. to here good he's now burning well it should give him some form of continuous damage we are deflecting and just tanking him over heal and then move over to here and then turn Miss Grell needs help. I know how we can do that. Move into here. Finally kill this guy. End of turn. Oh boy, what a big, messy, brutal fight. Heal all. Repair all. And we got a colossal flanged maze. Plus a lot of other loot. Alright. We're leveling up. And then it's time to end today's episode. We're going with strength for now to increase our damage a, a little bit. By the beasts, who are these men? Why were they? All I could find on them was this key. We must figure out what it opens. Wow. That was rough. But look at that. We got a new maze. Oh no, that's a two handed weapon. No. 
No, we want a tank, but we got a one-handed maze with a pound skill. Unit scored is doubled. Okay, that is fantastic for tanking. I think that complements her well. The flanged maze, on the other hand, does not. Anyways, this is uh, the end of today's episode, guys. Here's where we're taking, uh, drawing the line. Thanks for watching, and if you have a maze right next to you, try hitting that like button really hard, and see you soon. Bye-bye.